you're not curious anymore, you don't know where to grow, you're not anxious to know how to grow as a filmmaker or a writer, artist or whatever, that's death. He, I think, felt that, and I think you have the results in limelight. There's something brave, sublime, and without precedent in movie history about a man contemplating his own death on screen. He makes a peace with it, too. He accepts the passage, he doesn't like it, but he accepts the transition of being old and dying, but also of him no longer having the energy of the youth. When that sheet is put over his face with that beautiful music at the end, that is the final image of Chaplin is there. I was fortunate enough to be in that scene, silent, and Buster was there, and we're pulling back, and Buster is muttering to Charlie, not moving his lips. Good, Charlie, stay just where you are. You're right in the center. Hold it, don't move. Yeah, yeah, that's it. We made it, go. Yeah. And I thought, boy, you, Norman, have been present at a moment in history. And it was just, it made you embrace your whole profession, so to speak. You say, this is what the real greatness in this profession is. The last years of his life, he very much withdrew into himself. It was very hard for my mother. She had, she had a very hard time really looking after a man who had been so vital and such a strong presence suddenly really vanishing away. But he seemed to be very much at peace with himself. He kind of slowly drifted, drifted away, and his death was just at the end of a very slow drifting away. His was the face of his century. His was the life of his century. Through his will and energy, and yes, genius, he encompassed, as much as one man can, the joy and the anguish of his times, their romance, their horrors, and of course, what laughter we could find in them. He was a flawed man, a haunted man, a tormented man which is to say, he was only human. But with this uncanny ability to reflect and refract our humanity back at us.